Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we're gonna share with you some of our favorite beard grooming products to make sure your beard is always looking its best. Now beards have a reputation for ruggedness, but oftentimes if you want a trim and sleek beard, especially of a more classic style, they might need a little bit of pampering. That's why we've put together this list of our favorite beard grooming products. Many of these products are used by me and other members of the Gentleman's Gazette team. But as always, this video is not sponsored, just our honest opinions. Grooming is a regular topic here at the Gentleman's Gazette, and you can peruse our existing video library here. For today's video, we wanna emphasize that we intentionally limited this list to the must-haves. Now, if you're interested in a review of the more advanced beard grooming products, let us know in the comments below. If you don't have facial hair or you're thinking about growing some, check out this video for some tips and tricks. Go on, watch it. I'll wait right here. Ah, you're back. All right, now let's get started. Now, while facial hair is very popular among many modern gentlemen, it was very scarcely seen among the golden age of men's fashion. Now, facial hair, very popular during these times, consisted of things like a thin mustache, seen here on William Powell, and here on Cab Calloway, or close cropped beards, like the one sported by Rex Ingram. So if you're interested in a beard typical of the classic style, you'll want it to be short, also sleek and smooth, making owning a quality trimmer a must have. Although we're not knocking any of our fans who prefer a more wild beard style, like Orson Welles and Chimes at Midnight. Now let's move into talking about trimming and shaving products. Investing in a trimmer will allow you to shape your beard and help you to best complement your face shape. It will help you reduce excess volume and even help you even out patchy areas. It can also help you trim away split ends and rogue whiskers. Purchasing a high quality trimmer with functions like an adjustable cutting height, variable speed settings, and a quality blade will make it easier to trim your beard and it will definitely make your morning routine that much easier. We recommend the Beardscape from Brio. The Beardscape comes with eight standard attachments. These range from one millimeter to 18 millimeters. This range will help you cut to the perfect length. And with five different speed settings, you can work as quickly or as slowly as you want. The blade is ceramic, not metal, so you don't need to worry about it quickly going dull or about it getting hot against your skin during extended use. Brio also offers a two-year warranty on all of their products, so you can enjoy peace of mind while you're trimming away. Now, I personally own a Brio Beardscape, and I really enjoy the long battery life, the quality manufacturing, and also the ease of being able to interchange the blades. That simplicity makes me feel very comfortable being able to travel with the product, and I know that it's going to last a very long time. Now, the Beardscape is great because of its versatility, and it can handle every aspect of trimming your beard. But sometimes it pays to get a particular tool for a particular job, like fine detailing the edges of your beard, especially around the neck, cheeks, and ears. So to really push your shave to the edge, consider also purchasing an Andis T Outliner. Now the Andis T Outliner can also be used as a shaver, but it really shines when also managing fades or outlining and cleaning up your beard edges. The high quality carbon steel blades can be zero gapped, meaning the cutting and top blades can be made flush. Now this allows for an extremely close shave, even in tight or hard to reach areas. Just be careful when using zero gapped blades. You don't want to accidentally Sweeney Todd yourself. Now, I also own an Andis T Outliner, and I really enjoy the precision of the cut and how it is able to get a really close, a sharp line across my beard, mustache area, underneath my neck, around the base of the beard as well too. It keeps everything nice and sharp and clean. It keeps me from looking like I live under a bridge, which is quite nice. Trimmers are the best tools for general maintenance and beard styling. But for the neatest possible look, you also wanna clean up with a conventional razor. Now fans of this channel will already know that we're really big on the double-edged safety razor. We even created a full shaving guide, which you can find here. We prefer razors to cartridge systems because they give you a closer shave for considerably less money and with far less negative environmental impact. Now, Raphael goes into greater detail in this subject here. Now, when managing your beard, you wanna make sure that you shave around your cheeks, your neck, and possibly your chin. Using a razor will make sure you keep those areas as smooth as possible. And in the Our Favorite Grooming Products video, Raphael shares that his favorite safety razor is actually the Merker Slant Bar Razor. Like Raphael, the Merker is made in Germany. But unlike Raphael, it's crafted from cast zinc and brass with an elegant chrome finish. Now the weighted body improves control. And the three inch handle is just long enough to keep your grip, but not so long that it gets in the way. With knurling to prevent slippage. 
The slanted head keeps the blade taut, which is very efficient for a close shave, especially with coarse hair. Now, if you're new to double-edged razor shaving, or you have fine hair, you may not need such an aggressive shave. So Merker features an entire line of quality razors with more traditional straight bars. But shaping and trimming your beard is just one aspect of keeping your beard looking neat and tidy. You'll also need to wash it. Now due to its close proximity to your mouth and nose, your beard comes into contact with all manners of bodily fluids. And between eating, drinking, and touching your face, your beard has multiple opportunities to get dirty. So it is paramount that you regularly wash your beard. How often you wash your beard depends on your habits, beard length, your skin type, and your hair texture. But most gentlemen will aim to wash their beard between one and three times a week. As with your hair, you'll first want to use a shampoo that is also called a beard wash. This will help cleanse your beard hair and remove foreign contaminants. A quality wash will use natural ingredients to remove dirt and grime without drying out or damaging your beard and skin. Longtime fans will know that we're all about the best bang for your buck, which is why our first recommendation is for a bar wash. The Honest Amish Beard and Body Slick. Just like with body wash soaps, a beard wash bar gives you a more concentrated cleaning power, and it does this for far less money. Honest Amish uses French yellow clay as their soap medium. Now this is gentle enough to use on the face, but is strong enough to cleanse out the dirt and grease. All natural saponified organic and essential oils like clove, eucalyptus, and cinnamon will cleanse the hair and skin and leave beard hairs thoroughly washed. Honest Amish also comes with a full money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. I guess it makes sense they would make a quality beard slick. Who knows more about beards than the Amish? I'm a man of the land, I'm into discipline. Got a Bible in my hand and a beard on my chin. Now please know that's a joke. We are aware that the Amish don't make this product. I'd also like to recommend a beard wash that I personally use. The Art of Shaving Beard Wash. Art of Shaving is one of the most trusted names in beard care. And it's helpful they offer an entire suite of high quality beard care products. Now this makes them a good and reasonably priced one-stop shop if you're new to growing your beard and how to take care of your beard. Now naturally, I'm an advanced and highly skilled uh, beard grower, as you can see. But I've still found a lot to love with this beard wash. It offers a rich lather, and the blend of peppermint, rosemary, and eucalyptus essential oils smell great while also making sure that my skin and hair are not dried out. The oil-based formula is especially ideal if you find that bar-based soaps leave your hair feeling dry or prickly. And I also really love the small form factor of the bottle that this product comes in. It's making it uh, very easy to travel with and throw in a travel bag and not have to worry about it being flagged or having to be thrown out. Now let's talk about conditioners. Now I usually pair this wash with its complementary conditioner because just like with your hair, you also want to condition after shampooing. This helps restore natural oil and prevent dryness. Now like the beard wash, a quality conditioner should also have mostly natural ingredients because artificial ingredients tend to damage your hair and skin. And honestly, they're just favored by manufacturers because they're cheaper. Now since I've already sung the praises of the art of shaving, I'll take this time to talk about two different conditioners from two companies. First, the Zeus Beard Conditioner. Now nothing is worse than an itchy and dried out beard. So Zeus Beard Conditioner combines jojoba seed oil and avocado oil to keep your beard hairs both soft and pliable. Now this prevents itchiness and keeps your beard looking shiny and vibrant. B5 vitamin extracts, aloe vera, and other proprietary moisturizers help to make sure that the skin below your beard is happy and healthy. Zeus also offers a range of unique scents that we really enjoy. There's vanilla rum, verbena lime, and of course sandalwood. But don't worry, they're not overpowering or distracting. I guess it makes sense that he'd make a quality beard conditioner. Who else knows more about beards than Zeus? Now if you have coarser hair or a sizable beard that is more prone to damage, we recommend this next conditioner. The My Beard Conditioner by Evan Alexander. Evan Alexander Grooming was originally designed with the hair needs of gentlemen of color in mind. But their products are also great for anyone with coarse hair or who have beards that are prone to dryness and breakage. The My Beard Conditioner is designed to smooth rough hairs and encourage healthy hair growth through a special blend of oils. First, there's castor oil to moisturize and repair damage to the skin. Next, avocado oil to nourish the hair and increase pliability and to also reduce breakage. And then sunflower oil to benefit hair follicles by reducing inflammation and dandruff. We also love the elegant but bold scent of amber and tobacco. And all Evan Alexander products come with a happiness guarantee. Once you have your beard clean, you want to maintain it and keep it looking great. Now that's where our next group of products come in. 
Now let's talk about maintaining and styling your beard. As mentioned earlier, classic beard styles tend to be very well kempt and expertly coiffed, like most aspects of classic grooming, from haircuts to nail care. So to keep your beard looking its best, you wanna keep it nourished and hydrated. Now this is easily achieved with moisturizing agents. A moisturizing product is any product that you apply directly to your beard to keep it soft and healthy, as well as keeping your skin moisturized. You'll want a product that primarily nourishes your hair with natural ingredients, without adding too much shine, and definitely without making your beard too stiff, slimy, or even cakey. The two most common moisturizing agents are beard balms and beard oils. Now, a beard oil can be worn with any beard. It's great at keeping the beard well hydrated and smelling great. It does this while protecting the skin from dryness or chafing. Now, beard balms are traditionally used if your beard is longer, but they're also ideal if you have drier skin. The balm is quite thick and viscous, so it sits in your hair and skin and is absorbed slowly. Now this means it takes longer to apply, but it can also give it much greater moisturizing properties. Now whether you opt for a balm or beard oil is entirely up to your personal preference and your hair type. So we'll recommend two companies known for their exceptional beard balms and oils. First, the Captain Fawcett Beard Oil. Now Captain Fawcett's is a UK-based shaving emporium. Now they've gone to humorous lengths to build a narrative around their fictional frontman, the retired Captain Peabody Fawcett of Her Majesty's Royal Navy. How many grooming products do you know that have their own lore? Cue gimmicks aside, Captain Fawcett's offers an expansive range of facial hair grooming products, and they're very popular with traditional professional barbers. I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty good sign. Today we're highlighting their line of beard oils. They come in a variety of unique and enticing scents, from the Captain's own private stock, and then onto their Maharaja, with spicy and musky notes of citrus, leather, and cedar. Captain Fawcett's uses the base of jojoba oils and sweet almond oil, reinforced with vitamin E. These nourish both your skin and beard hair. And all the oils come in miniature travel sizes for all of your overseas expeditions. Now I share more tips for grooming while abroad in this video here. Now Captain Fawcett's also offers a great line of beard balms. But to share more makers with you, we'll highlight a different beard brand. Beard Brand. Now with a considerable social media presence, it's likely you may have already heard of Beard Brand. This company was at the forefront of the beard care revolution in the early 20 teens. And they offer an extensive range of products to cater to both the beard rookie and the facial hair connoisseur. They have a great line of beard oils too, but today we'll focus on the beard balms. They are shea based and they have all the nourishing benefits of an oil with the added benefit of light hold to tame wild hairs. And Beard Brand also offers a second balm specially designed for styling and hold. I especially use their utility balm. I love the scent and how a little bit goes a long way. It also helps that all of Beard Brand products are available in all of their six unique scents. So you never have to worry about your wash smelling one way and your conditioner smelling another. Now my personal favorite fragrance is the Lumberyard. Finally, we appreciate that Beard Brand maintains an extensive library of how-to videos on their YouTube channel. We love seeing companies who wanna make sure that customers get the most out of their products. And we've spoken briefly about products that help you shape your beard, but chances are you'll need the most help shaping your mustache. Mustache wax. The right kind of mustache wax you use is gonna vary depending on what kind of needs you have in mind. A pencil thin mustache requires a very different product than a full handlebar mustache. But in all cases, you'll want a wax that gives you as much hold as you need, but not too much. You'll want one that washes out easily when desired. Now, because we're just covering the basics today, we'll share with you one mustache wax, which is great for simple jobs. One that offers light hold and keeps hairs out of your mouth. The Clubman Mustache Wax. Now, definitely an old school selection. The Clubman Mustache Wax is great for all hair types and low maintenance styles. Now this product is designed to be layered on, so apply as much as you need for your desired look. Clubman also comes in a variety of colors for slight color correction if desired. Having access to the right tools will definitely help you apply your beard care products. So let's turn our attention to brushes and combs. A beard brush is one of the most useful tools a gentleman with a beard can have. It helps to strengthen and straighten by gently redistributing oils over your hair, all while wicking away dead skin cells from under the beard. It can also be used to evenly apply a product. Now a quality brush will be made from horn, wood, bamboo, or acetate. The bristle should be made from natural hair, preferably boar hair. Hair that is strong enough to exfoliate, but soft enough not to agitate. Synthetic bristles often feel rough against the skin, and they tend to shed quite easily. The longer and thicker your beard, the longer you want the bristles to be. And finally, you want a brush that fits nicely in your hand, and one that is easy to use. And for me, 
That brush comes courtesy of The Art of Shaving. The Art of Shaving Kent Beard Brush. And when it comes to high quality brushes, Kent Beard Brushes of England have been making the best since 1777. Now this brush designed in collaboration with The Art of Shaving has everything one could desire. The pure boar bristles have been machine sewn directly into the cherry wood base. This helps prevent shedding and they're trimmed to variable lengths. The uneven bristles help to penetrate through the beard to the skin below. The satin wood back is slightly curved to help improve grip and the entire brush has been sealed to prevent water damage. In addition to a brush, you might also find it useful to have a beard comb, especially if your beard is longer. A quality beard comb will allow you to detangle and shape your beard or even help you apply product. Now, if you have long or thick growth, a brush in conjunction with a comb will be essential to helping make sure you have all of your hairs in place. It will generally be larger than a comb for your hair and is usually made out of wood, acetate, metal, or horn. Now regarding the comb teeth, rough beard should have wider spacing between the teeth of the comb. Now this helps to gently pass through the hair, while softer beards require narrower teeth to help shape and smooth the hair. Now if your beard is prone to tangling, consider using a double-sided comb with both wide and narrow teeth. You should carefully detangle with the wide side and then gently smooth with the narrow. If you prefer to trim your beard with scissors, you can use the comb to help maintain an even length. Several of the brands we've already mentioned in this video, like Beard Brand and Kent, make high quality beard combs. But to close, we'd like to share with you a different company, one with an unforgettable name, Hornver Fabriken Comb. Hornver Fabriken is a Danish company that specializes in making household items out of animal horn. Animal horn is an excellent material for combs. This is because it is lightweight while also being very durable. They are beautiful and have a unique appearance. Horn and hair are also both made from keratin, so horn combs tend to pass more smoothly through the hair than other combs. At Fort Belvedere, we use 100% water buffalo horn for our luxurious line of shoe horns and tidbit tray, so we already know what a great material it is. Horn bear fabrican combs come in a variety of tooth widths to perfectly suit your beard, and you can choose from versions with or without handles. Handles will allow you to apply more force when detangling, and they are much better for longer beards. I guess it makes sense that they make a quality beard comb. Who knows more about beards than the Danes? Wait, I can't make that same joke again. Danes really are involved in making this product. We hope that the products we shared will help you make your beard look its best. Let us know if you'd like to see a similar video about shaving products. And be sure to like and share this video so we can show Preston and Raphael just how popular facial hair has become in the classic community. Today I'm wearing a blue and white striped dress shirt with green trousers a brown belt, brown dress shoes, and my Fort Belvedere socks in brown as well. Check out the Fort Belvedere shop here for socks like these. <laughs>